Hey, it's Rachel here. So um, today I figured I would just show you a quick little video on um, what I'm doing with all these bell pepper seeds that I sprouted in a bag. Um, they they look like they're kind of getting moldy. I didn't even think they would sprout because I, it's been really cold in the house and stuff, but they did. They sprouted like really, really good, which is surprising to me. But I want to show a video of what they look like on the paper towel that they sprouted. And uh, they, yeah, they started look like, looking like they got a little mold on them. But I want to plant them anyway in the dirt and um, hopefully, um, hopefully maybe I'll get even more peppers this year. Crap. I know it's a little early from what I understand to plant bell peppers but I'm keeping them inside until they get a little big I don't even know if this is the right thing to do but like I've said before on my on one of my other videos I only got a couple videos out but on one of my other videos is just try to plan it see what happens you know I mean never could fail by trying so yeah okay let me let me turn this around and show you what they look like and what I'm putting them in all right so I don't know if you can see these but like <sighs> It's a lot of seeds. I'm probably going to end up throwing some of them. I might just throw them in the in my flower bed and see what, or not my flower bed, but my little garden bed to see what happens, see if they'll sprout out there too. But I got a lot of little seeds. Like if you look, um, where is it? Sorry, my finger's going to mess it up. But like right there, you see how it's got, I got like some mold on it, stuff like that. But like then there's these ones right here. They're not like really moldy yet. Um, I mean, I'm assuming that's what that is. It's mold like these ones right here. And you can see how tiny these seeds are. But I'm gonna, I'm kind of like just wipe the mold off because I've had a, them grow before with when they had mold or whatever. Sorry, I'm not very good at focusing. But yeah, you know, all these little seeds. I mean, I usually just put them on a wet paper towel and. You know, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting them in here, and I've gotten some in here already. I kind of just put them on the top, um, and I'll kind of like show you how this system, this little tray system works. Uh, I haven't been using it long, but it worked on my last set of peppers that I sprouted. But I'm putting, I'm pretty sure you're only supposed to put like one seed per little tray, but I'm putting four per tray because I had so many seeds, and I don't want to waste trays, especially if some of the seeds die. So I'm just throwing them in there and. I'll worry about it once I get bigger. Um, but yeah, let me let me turn the video around and show you how um, this system works. Hold on. All right, so I decided not to turn the video around. But um, okay. So basically, what I'm doing is let me find a good one. Basically, I'll take a seed that looks about like let me see if I can get it focused like that, right? And I just kind of put it in there like so and then kind of I'll kind of like tap it down and then put a little dirt over it and that's all it takes it's that simple and I do it to all the little things once I'm done um, so these these uh, trays are pretty cool like let me show you so Basically, I read that I'm supposed to be watering from below and these trays you just put some water in it and Then like they're not huge. I mean you can kind of see um, I mean, You put it like this and uh, Of course put it in some sunlight And uh, let me show you the top basically this is the top it it just sits on there like fairly simple I'm um, like that um, Like I said you water it Supposedly you're supposed to water from below, but these seeds are so small. Well, I guess it's like a little vent thing um, that you can open the vent or close it because they got little holes. See, um, which I thought was pretty cool. But basically, because these seeds are so small, I'm gonna spray them with water on top, just like with a little a mister, and then I'll put the top on them. So all I do is just kind of mist the top of them. I guess kind of to get started this way was a little bit moist I got this don't mind my nasty dirt or my dirty ass but um I got this from Amazon I think it was like two bucks and it's pretty cool I mean it's not anything fancy but it's got this to water it and the spray bottle stuff 
And then I got these on Amazon. I want to say they were like $15 for a pack of 10, I believe I got. Um, but they come with everything. They come with the little, um, like, air, whatever you call this. I'm not sure what you call it. And then the top, which I put my top on. So you can see. Let me put this thing. But yeah. And then you can just sit in the sunlight. Um, I guess I'll sit it like right here. The sun will move, so it'll get it'll get some sunshine. Yeah. Voila. Oh, and just uh, another thing. So I tried this thing with tomatoes. Like I actually sliced the tomatoes, like, and put the whole like a whole slice of a tomato in here and covered it with just a a light like about this much dirt on top and and watered it and yeah it grew i was surprised i've never done that before but yeah so anyway that's, that's what uh that's what i've been doing with my uh little seeds i got them all in there all right guys hope you like the video um so if there's anything like any advice you could give me or um that would help my plants grow better anything like that um i'm accepting of it so just Comment below and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.